So you had two great wins over Easter. Now you need to follow it up, don't you? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, it was great for the fans, two derbies, and they come out in force on, on Saturday. That's the best atmosphere I've, I've seen in this club since I've been here. And hopefully they turn up against Saturday and, and be the 12th man for us again. What pleased you most about the wins? Uh, well, after losing four on the bounce, I've talked about it in the past, about the games that we have lost, the four on the bounce, but we played well in some of the games. But actually to get the three points on the table, that, that's what pleased me most, obviously. And which of the two performances was the better one, do you think? They're both different, to be honest. Uh, obviously, we played two different, completely different teams. We had Barrow sat off us and Atkinson got us. So we kept the ball really, really well in both games. And the game plans worked both, uh, really well in both games as well. I've spoken to Chris Stokes and we talked about the importance of that last few minutes of both games where they scored and you had to hang on and, and it was really important that you did and confidence wise. Well I spoke about uh, I spoke about that after the Atkinson game obviously we've seen the game up really really well and I was made up with that and we took it into uh, the battle game obviously they scored more or less the same time there was more minutes that Atkinson added on than there was a battle but we kept a high line and we were brave and trusted each other it worked really well. So what's it done for confidence in the camp then? Is there a question of sort of needing to keep people's feet on their grounds? Are you, are you happy to go with it? I'm happy to go with it. You can see in training this morning, they were absolutely flying. The lads, obviously, we had a few few players back from injury training with us, so it was great to get everyone back. It was like a, everyone's looking, can't wait for Saturday's game now. And it's about keeping the foot on the pedal, but Doncaster will be really tough opponents, won't they? They beat Wrexham the other night and on a terrific run. Yeah, fantastic. They're five out of bounds, I think it is now. And I watched the game against Wrexham the other day and, and they've done really well, so we know it's going to be a really tough game, but we've worked on, on them today and tomorrow and we'll see what happens Saturday. The win at their place was an important one for you. It was your first win, wasn't it? I think it was, yeah, my first win, yeah. But obviously a milestone for you, that, but a very different team you're coming up against. Completely different. Well, I would, uh, I'd love to do that. I think there's uh, four players left who played against us that day. Listen, that's a totally different game. This is a more important game to us than that one was, uh, even though it was my first win. This gets us in the mix, so we'll take every game as they come now and we'll, uh, we'll have a right go with them on Saturday. And you're a different team as well, obviously, with the changes in January. Yeah, uh, we obviously brought all new players in and they gelled really well since. And you've seen Saturday, the likes of Guion and Nelson and Joe, how good they were and Archie. They, they just the brilliant the lads were brought to the main super for us. And a word about Jake Taylor in that central defensive mode. Seemed to really tick, didn't he? Yeah, played in the last three games now, just protecting the back four really and getting on the ball and got his passing and it seems to work a treat. He gets the ball, he's the orchestra, he's pulling all the strings and he's passing his passing is very good and he's good on the ball and he's very brave receiving it in, in dangerous areas. Obviously if he'd lost the ball there we could, could see the goal, but he's doing really, really well. Touch wood. Two goals really early in the game against Barrow. Is there a case of fans having to be maybe patient on Saturday? It might not come as quickly this time. Well, you never know in football, do you? Obviously, people have been saying we've been conceding goals early doors, now the same as scoring early doors. It, you can't win. We'll just go out and play with our game plan and see what happens. Jed Garner back after not being eligible for the Barrow game. That gives you another option, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Uh, our attacking options are very good. And obviously, we've got Faz back as well and JJ. So we've got a lot of. Uh, I've got a big headache for Saturday, which is great. So when you say Faz and JJ back, actually JJ's been on the bench. Are they both back in contention for a start this weekend? Yeah, definitely. Uh, JJ has been on the bench, but we, he just felt it on Saturday. He was going to bring him on Saturday, but he just he just went short in his head. To be fair to him, and he's been out a long time, so I didn't want to push him. Um, uh, so I just thought I'll bring Jan on as another sit midfield player. But this Saturday he's, he's ready to go, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think you said after the Atkinson game such a high pressure, high intensity game, and they all are this time. It's not ideal to be bringing players back, is it? It's a balance. You're great to have them back and what they can bring, but you've got to be careful. Definitely, yeah. Against Atkinson, the last 10, 15 minutes, we couldn't bring him on then. The saddles were flying in, and the last thing we want him to go on, obviously he's going to go on, he's going to give 100%, but the last thing I want to do is put him on, knowing where he's got to build into the game, and he never had time, and it was just too quick for him. Same as against Barrow, they scored at the time. So I was going to bring him on, but... Saturday's different, he's, a lot, he's had an extra week and he's a lot, a lot stronger now. So with five games to go, what are you thinking? Four wins, mm. win the lot, what do you think you need to do to get into that playoff I knew spot? you'd ask that question. Uh, no, Saturday's game, Don't not looking past it. I've told the lads we've got nothing to lose. Let's go into Saturday's game, no fear, and let's see what happens from there. And is this what you're in the game for, this sort of... Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday with a big prize. Yeah, it's dead exciting. If you'd have thought at the beginning of the season that would be a, with five games to go, obviously, what was relegate uh, favourites to go down or something like that? But 
listen, the lads here have been great since I've been here. They've got a lot of belief in themselves and I believe in them and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll make a good push at the end of the season. We haven't spoken since the news broke of the EFL embargo. What impact is that having on you? At the minute, none, but it'll be the end of the season when I've got to bring, obviously, uh, well, new players in. See, we've got 21 out of contract, which is going to be really, really tough. Uh, so it's going to be a tough summer for me, and hopefully it's lifted by then. And I guess all part of this very steep learning curve you've had since you started. Why do, why do all managers get this type of learning curve? Because <laughs> i tell you what, I've had a tough one, but uh, I'm, I'm bracing it, I'm getting on with it and see what happens. Get money for your old phone,